guys welcome back to my channel my name is Kayla if you don't know already and I am a rising 3L in New York City so today's video was a request and it is basically the pros and cons of law school I just want to preface this by saying that this is based off my experience and in my opinion and you might have a different opinion and you might meet other people who have different opinions but this is what I got so let's start with the pros so for the pros, I'm going to talk about the actual degree, the people that you're surrounded with, um, learning opportunities, and everyday life. So number one is obviously that you're getting a law degree, which is what you want. So number one pro. <laughs> And in terms of the people that you're surrounded with, like you truly are surrounded with goal-oriented people, people who have like minds as you, people who have uh, similar tendencies, learning styles. Like I feel like I've been surrounded with a lot of type A people and it makes you feel more normal. And I feel like in law school, as I'm sure it is with like other graduate schools, like people are more like on top of their stuff, more into what they're learning because it's something that you really are choosing to do, right? So like to go to college, it's like, yeah, you're choosing to go to college, but you kind of like have to go to college. That's debatable. But so it's like a lot of people are have different reasons for being in college. Maybe they don't really care about like the studying aspect. And so I feel like in law school, m there's more people who like really want to be there. So like they're the way that they they contribute to learning is different the way that they participate in in activities is different and so i feel like that really does help the experience of learning and like creating a good community especially in my school i feel like we have a very diverse uh group of people and it makes you feel very comfortable and so i feel like that is very different than college and also like my school is smaller which i think a lot of law schools are smaller like one building so you have a chance to like interact with a lot of people um see all different kinds of people and stuff like that so i feel like that is a very big pro for me because i am someone who's like really influenced by my surroundings and the people that are around me the people who i'm interacting with it really affects how well i do in a class in the year whatever next we have opportunities for individualized learning so obviously when you're a 1l you don't really have um that much input in like what you're learning the classes you're taking stuff like that you do have an input in like if you want to join a club or like what kind of internship you want to get for the summer and uh, but after that you will be able to like choose classes that you want to learn about and do things that are more geared towards your goals for the future. So for example, if you really want to do work with like domestic violence work, you would obviously like choose domestic violence classes, um, maybe choose an internship that has to do with that. Um, you could do an independent study, which is great. Um, so for me, the first semester of my 2L year, I took a race bias and advocacy class. And in that class, I was able to research a topic that I really wanted to talk about because uh, we had a paper that was going to be counted as our final exam. So for this paper, you had to pick a professor from this class and pick a topic and do research and write this 30 page paper and maybe come up with a solution see what kind of solutions are going on right now and that was really interesting because you're able to take something that you are passionate about and use it to to get a grade in the class number one but number two you're able to like learn more about it and think of think of the problem in a different way so there's also independent studies where you can pick a professor and do research stuff like that other opportunities are internships which are great and i'm going to talk about internships again in my con section but one good thing about internships especially if you want to do something that's public interest is there's always internships available if you want to do like government work or um public interest you will find an internship easily especially as a 1L a lot of 1Ls end up doing internships in public interest places because they're easier to get mainly because there's so many of them right um 
The other good thing with that is there's usually funding for public interest um, internships. I know in my school we have a specific funding that you apply for and that way you can work your unpaid internship but still get paid, which is what I do. Otherwise, I would make no money at all for the summer. <laughs> um, next is everyday life. So, I find that there's things that you learn in law school that everyone should be taught. Um, for example, this past year I took criminal procedure and there's so many things about criminal procedure that I wouldn't have known if I did not take this class. And these are like everyday life issues. And that's the same for constitutional law. There's things that the average person does not know that you learn in law school. And I think that this is very important because then you can take that into the world and whether you're gonna go into practicing law or even practicing that type of law or not, now you have this information that you can share with your friends and your family and help them navigate the world in a safer, more knowledgeable way. Honestly, like I feel like there's certain things that everyone should have to learn and constitutional law and criminal procedure is something that I think everyone needs to know because there's just so many effects of these laws on everyday life that i just think that going through law school and learning these things really helps you look at the world differently and helps you feel safer i wanted to add one more pro there is a huge availability of assistance in law school. I think that there's this idea that professors and other students are not willing to help you, but in my experience, professors and other students and TAs are so willing to help you. If you have questions, if you need help with studying, if you just don't understand something, I feel like there is always someone who can help you. There are uh, review sessions, there are collaborative work like i had a class where my professor literally made a collaborative work um outline thing so like we could all go onto google docs and add to an outline like i think there's a perception that in law school everyone is for themselves but in my experience people are very willing to like help each other because at the end of the day you know these are people that you're going to be working with in the future your classmates are your future colleagues and connections and stuff like that. So I think that that is just a myth that people don't wanna help you in law school. They do wanna help you. There are so many opportunities for you to receive extra help and that is another big pro. You will not be left alone, no matter how much you feel. It's just gonna be on you to initiate, to ask for the help, you know? So now we're gonna move on to the my cons. Number one con is the grading system i'm pretty sure like all if not all the majority of law schools have a system like this um basically your grade is dependent upon your final exam so i hate that <laughs> so much it's terrible um in my school we have midterms but the midterm could be worth like 10% of your grade and then the final exam is 90% of your grade. So really the midterm doesn't really do anything for you. Like maybe it helps you prepare for like testing, like cut the environment down. But in my experience, the midterm is not in the same format as your exam. It's only half the time and it doesn't do anything. So for example, like I've had a midterm that was like completely multiple choice and then the exam was no multiple choice at all. So to me, that didn't really teach me how to do it. And that just leads it, leaves your entire grade on one exam. Now, I do understand that when you take the bar, you know, the bar is one exam and it's whether you pass that or not. I get that. But... I don't like that when you're learning the law in school, there's no benchmarks along the way to help you see if you're actually learning something or not. So in my opinion, some people can, can do terrible. If you're a bad test taker, you can fail a class just because you didn't do well on the last exam. Now, some professors give you practice exams. There are practice exam opportunities, but I personally do not um, 
I cannot really gauge my ability based on a practice exam because to me, I don't know, it's like my brain, it doesn't really take things seriously if it's not ser if it's not serious. So like, I know I'll be doing a practice exam and subconsciously I'll be like, oh, this is a practice exam so I don't really have to like pay attention, you know? So to me, I really hate that your grade is based on one exam also because that means there's very limited information that's going to be on this exam so you spend all of this time trying to study all these different things and you might be very knowledgeable on a whole topic of this of this class and when the exam comes that's not on the exam and so you can fail a class even though just because like the one thing that you didn't know was what was on the exam i just really don't like that i think it's unfair but um i think that's something that you that you need to consider when going to law school you have to make sure that you take the time throughout the whole semester to try and stay on top of things so that when the exam comes you'll feel more prepared because it is very easy to get overwhelmed during finals week because you remember that your entire grade is resting upon this one exam so um the second thing is tuition now tuition is very expensive. I personally live at home and I only pay tuition. I don't pay for rent or any of that other stuff and it is very expensive. Textbooks, very expensive. Now to me, this is a con only because it's a risk you have to take, but at the same time, you have to understand that it is an investment that you're making into yourself. So although it's a con, it's just something to consider in my opinion like it's something that like it re you'll reap benefits by investing you know and there's ways to get around the textbook thing but and scholarships and stuff but number one law school very expensive so yeah also the unpaid internships like i mentioned before the fact that internships a lot of them are unpaid is very unfortunate because you need to have the experience in order to understand what you want to do and i feel like some people end up not doing internships and instead doing summer jobs like paralegal work because they need to make money and that sucks because now you're not getting the experience that you need in order to see if you actually want to be in something it's very difficult to work a lot of schools have um restrictions on how many hours you can work while going to school which is understandable because they want to make sure that you're focused but at the same time if you're not in a position to be um forfeiting money like that which who is then you're gonna have to look for other options right so that's something that sucks but like I said earlier, there are pros to the internships. You learn so much from internships, I promise. Like I have learned more in internships than I have learned in actual law school classroom, for sure. Um, another issue that I have with law school is something that is very prevalent today in society and that is the issue of racial injustice. Clearly, you know, recently this a lot of stuff has come up a lot of people are realizing things, I guess. But in my experience in law school, talking about the ways that the laws affect different racial groups um, differently does not really come up. So it's something that like, you know, is brushed over in my opinion it's not required for you to take racial like classes regarding racial injustice so my class that i took race bias and advocacy that class was amazing in terms of showing you how different laws that seem neutral are really affecting all these people in different ways and it sucks because when you do take a tax class or you do take um a housing class like you might hear of something like mentioned but you don't go deep into how this is like really affecting people and that is something that i feel everyone needs to to learn people need to there needs to be a focus on engaging cross-culturally lawyering cross-culturally i'm not saying that it's not it's not addressed in law school it is addressed but i just think that it's something that needs to be placed more of a focus on it there should be a requirement that you have to take a class at least one class that makes you analyze the ways in which the law is affecting groups differently i just think that that needs to be the case because the fact that people are able to avoid, even if unintentionally, this topic 
is preparing people to go in a world incorrectly. These people are going to be practicing law, doing whatever, engaging with these people with people of um, different ethnicities, different backgrounds in them, and they're not going to be prepared or have the proper knowledge to engage with them. And so that's my opinion. So I think those are all of my pros and cons. I hope that I. <laughs> I was clear because I feel like I was going a little back and forth, but that's how I'm feeling today, scatterbrained. <laughs> but um, I plan on doing a video on skills that I think are important for law school. So if you are going to law school, you're in law school, whatever skills that I think could help you do better, things that I am still working on to be better even in my last year. Um, and also maybe things that I wish that I did before law school to help me better prepare. But if you have any other recommendations for videos or any questions, any tips for me, please leave them down below or DM me on Instagram. I have been on a little bit of a little break on Instagram, but I do check it randomly to see if anyone has DM'd me um thank you guys for sticking around with me i know that i feel like i've been a little all over the place with my vlogs my videos but i am really trying to be consistent with my videos so hopefully i'll do better um yeah so thank you guys for watching if you are applying to law school i wish you all the luck in the world i hope you are having an amazing summer and i'll see you in the next one